Hey folks, Wayne Taylor, Honest Home Finder out at Cypress Point with DR Horton today. Beautiful fall day and it's closing day. So this will be the, the last time that I walk into this home and it's a fun little home. It's a Bristol, it's a ranch plan. You can see all along this row, it's all ranch plans. So this is the section of Cypress Point that does those. Don't get excited about Cypress Point. They've been done out here for a while unless you run across a fallout. And then it's kind of a feeding frenzy because this is an incredibly popular neighborhood. It's got a great location outside of the traffic in the morning, in the afternoons, that is. I just like to take a video every now and again of ones that I'm involved with. I don't do it a lot. Uh, there are reasons for that. But this is just a, such a beautiful sweet little ranch and it does have the um, addition of a guest bedroom upstairs so I like to put that in my repertoire I thought the folks out here just an amazing job and then you talk to me as my uh, title profession as a realtor um, I'm real big on watching your step everybody's different the same way with realtors. It really doesn't matter about the company the whole time. Although I am very happy and proud that I've got ERA backing me up. Um, it's who you work with. And I just thought the on-site out here, and I've had contact with all three of them. I think they, some of them might have moved on because they're just kind of mopping up things up right now. Um, and I know DR Horton specifically frowns on uh, folks like myself using specific names, um, but I will definitely follow where these young ladies have gone in their next neighborhood and be happy about it. Just from day freaking one, they have been on top of it, taking care of my clients, taking care of me. Um, this was at the height of COVID, so I had some issues getting out for a little while. And uh, we had enough of Charlotte Day to close. Oh, <laughs> I should have said it before I started filming. Um, if you've heard about builders having supply problems, um, it's real. We're closing on this one today without mirrors. They're gonna put some uh, substitute mirrors in for a while. That's a first for me. I, uh, I even got a little smile out of my clients and this has been a long process with all of the uh, issues with COVID and making everything slow down. Was he signed this contract a long time ago? So everybody's kind of grinning from ear to ear. Done. You know, while I'm right here, let's go ahead and get the laundry room and the garage. Get some feedback on my phone here. I hope this video turns out all right. Big garage. Tons of light. Just, uh, this is one of the reasons I started making these videos. You can see this plan on a piece of paper on a computer screen or your phone, tablet, whichever. It's tough to tell. I think this is a great ranch floor plan. See, I got some neighbors next door. <laughs> I think everybody's been moving in here in the last week or two. Getting this road taken care of. those box windows you see me here hear me say things like that a lot I hope I don't get too boring with it I just go into so many homes and a lot of times these homes are there they're just stock they're they're boxes so when I see these little different features I get excited I think my clients will get excited about it huge pantry
primary bedroom. It's a good size, not huge. Quite frankly, folks, there are a certain demographic that uh, bigger's not better anymore. Less work, right? No stairs. This one does have stairs, but that's for family. Who I've met also, well, frankly, this group was just a super nice uh, group. I can't think of another word for group. All the way around. It always makes my job a little bit easier. I think the feeling's mutual a lot of the time. <laughs> Can be a bastard, but it doesn't happen that often. There they are. You know what? I'm not even sure about those. I know in the other secondary bathrooms, I didn't even have anything hung yet. We're waiting on the replacements. Supply problems, they are the real deal. All right, folks, let's head upstairs real quick for that. Uh, addition all right made it up made it up you know what that means it's top of your screen folks don't leave any money on the table that is my buyer's incentive check it out if you have any questions give me a call so here's just a loft area that you can build it with just a loft just a huge you know frogs free room over the garage this I'm just gonna call storage space. And just your place that everybody tells you not to put anything that everybody puts things. That little area of the attic next to the furnace. Probably really shouldn't put them in there. But that was the word from Jake. Oh, yeah. ah, I wasn't supposed to use names, but I wanted to make a joke. They've actually had a switch of, I forgot to turn the light on. There's your closet upstairs. Can you remember the old show, The Two Jakes? I uh, had one builder leave for whatever reason. There's the blank wall I was talking about. And the guy that replaced him was another Jake. I got a kick out of it. I kept my mouth shut, did not make that joke in front of anybody. Probably wouldn't have understood the reference actually the people that bought this home more than likely would have i'm not sure if jake would have gotten it they would associate a joke with his name with state farm but you come to think of it i bet he's sick as hell of those commercials have the closet actually in the bedroom well it's got to have a closet to be considered a bedroom and that's it for the Bristol. Lovely little home. It was great working with these folks. Uh, hit me up if you have anything, and I appreciate you taking the time to take a look. Bye-bye, guys.